death of Iraqi child. Part of her head lay on rock that had also been shattered, destroyed, not too far from her body. I moved the picture sideways, upside down, then in a semicircle and slowly around. She looked about eight or maybe ten. And then I remembered. Wee Patrick Rooney shot as he fled to hide in his bed and young Jim Doherty on his front wall. His mother watching him play watched him fall dead with a bullet in the back of his little blonde head. A Magella O'Hare on a road to make her peace with God find not the peace his love would bring but a soldier's weapon built to distort his love in everything. Struggling to remember them all, names so hard to recall, like dreams we dream in the night, forgotten and forsaken for light. Let not our souls find ease or our heart's relief. Let it be our sentence to always know the grief of your Iraqi child. Our Iraqi children, Paula Strong and Claire Hughes, Tracy Munn and Colin Nicol, Jacqueline and Anne-Marie O'Brien, little Angela Gallagher, Margaret Gargan, Julie and Carol Ann and Brian and Stephen and Seamus, Eileen Mackin and so many more. There is nothing here for grief to understand. Grief doesn't find reason a consolation. It understands only the devastation a child's death will bring. It matters not to those who grieve what power points the gun or fires the shot in terms of a child's death. It matters not. Mother and father and sister and brother and aunt and uncle and cousin and grandmother and grandfather and friend and mullah and ayatollah of murdered Iraqi child. There can be no comfort in comparing pain that sometimes sleeps then wakes again. But sorrow is a thing we know when this time 34 years ago we like you were saved from certain slaughter by those who had turned their blind eyes towards our plight of 800 years. Mind your saviours, I say, and thank God our fields are full of potatoes and not oil.